Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Gluten Free Learning. And today we are going to be looking at the trust and how we can develop a trust system and analyze it. And I'm going to do something kind of fun here. In one of my YouTube videos, one of my more popular ones, where we used finite element methods to analyze a trust system. Um, I'm going to compare those results that we got on that example with what we get here on S-Frame. All right, so looking at my YouTube channel, um, what we did here, we calculated the nodal displacements using the local and global stiffness matrix uh, method. And this was the example here uh, where we had three members of our entire truss system. We had a pin support, a pin support, and a fixed support. Um, and then we had two loads acting at joint number three. And we had a cross-sectional area of 50 times 10 to the minus four and a modulus of elasticity of 200 gigapascals. And then our lengths over here um, our first member was 50 meters, our second member was 50 meters, and the third member was 20 meters. So using Pythagoras, we can get our X and our Y distances, and we can start building our system. So let's uh, start opening our S-Frame software, and let's begin. Okay, so this is what our general shape is going to look like, our overall structure. And um, first, before we begin, I'm actually going to show you guys just a little trick. I don't know if you know this already, but if you look at the very top of the... Um, properties toolbar you see these two cursors where they say unselect all and select all so you have to be in your geometry modeling tool and click on select all and unselect all and now you notice everything is dotted so if you want to analyze something now everything is unselected and it won't work um, or if you want to delete something you can't delete it right now because there's nothing selected so how, you, how would you delete an entire system if you made a mistake without using the control Z key? Um, just click select all. And then again to the left hand side over here, under select it says delete objects. So you want to delete all objects and there you go. Now your structure is deleted. And now we can start again from scratch. 